Hey there, it's Ben Hassel here, and here in this tutorial, we're going to be having a look at BrettFX's Hang Tags plugin, and in particular, the Valentine's Day theme elements of that plugin. So, we're going to be having a look at how you use some of the basic animations, how we modify them, um, how we change the centering of the text and that type of thing, um, as well as looking at how we create this square video format, which is really useful for social media marketing. So if you're looking for quick animations that are gonna grab people's attention, hopefully help them to click through uh, to the website or product, whatever it is you're trying to promote, um, then the hang tags plugins are really great for that. So without further ado, let's dive in, have a look at the hang tags, um, and we'll look at the animation and all the different elements, such as color, that we can modify um, in this great plugin from BrettFX. So there are a few things we're going to have a look at here as we work with the hang tag plugin generator for Final Cut Pro 10. So the first is um, we're going to have a look at how we set up this square format video which is great for Instagram, for Facebook, uh, other social media platforms as well. And then we're going to have a look at a couple of the different hang tag animations that you can use. So you can see here on screen we have some individual hang tags that pop down and then some that we can combine together um, to kind of spell out different words and that type of thing. And obviously all of this for this particular example um, has a Valentine's Day theme, but you also have the social media icons and some other kind of great examples um, in the plugin as well. So let's create a new project timeline uh, to begin with. So we're going to come to File, New and Project up at the top left. And then once we're in here, we are going to set up a custom resolution. So basically, we want to set up this square format. Um, so normally I set my square format as 1080 by 1080. So we'll go down to custom here and we can type in any resolution that we want. So if you want to make portrait video or these square style videos or have a different resolution of video for whatever particular reason, then you can do it um, in the custom video setup here. And we'll set the frame rate to 30 frames per second, which will be fine. And we'll call this hang tag overview. Hit OK. So the first thing we're going to do here is drop down an image onto our timeline. So we'll grab this nice image and once I've got that done on the timeline, I'm just going to do Shift and Z to get that to fill the timeline. You can see we've just got four seconds um, of video there. Actually, we'll zoom out a little bit and stretch this out to around five or six seconds so that we have time for the animation to kind of come on. So the first thing I'm going to do here is increase the size of my image that I'm working with. So basically, I'm going to highlight the image in the timeline and then come across to my inspector. If you don't see the inspector, go to Window, Show and Workspace and make sure Inspector is checked. And that will give you all the properties you need for scaling, rotating, cropping your video and that type of stuff. So we're just going to scale this up so basically it fills that square video. And we'll just use the position here to kind of offset this so we get a bit of this swimming pool and also uh, the kind of seats there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this to kind of slowly zoom in throughout this video. So basically at the beginning here, I'm going to have this at 155%. And then I'll come to the end of my video and I'll just increase this a little bit to 175%. So basically we've got a nice kind of slow zoom to our video there, which will act as a nice backdrop to our hang tag when it drops down. So if we come up to our generators at the top left here, I've already installed the hang tag plugin from BrettFX and you can see here we have a whole bunch of uh, different uh, kind of themes. The theme for this week is obviously Valentine's Day. So basically we're going to scroll down. We have a couple of Valentine's Day special hang tags which we can simply drag down and drop onto our timeline. And then obviously it will animate on and we can stretch out our image or video on the timeline to match the length of our animation. So we get this nice pop on animation and the pendulum effect of this graphic just kind of hanging there in the air which works really nicely. So these are great. They're going to grab a bit more attention than your regular Instagram image. As people scroll through, they'll kind of see these animate on, and it's a great way of grabbing people's attention. So let's have a look at a couple of the other examples that we have here uh, for Valentine's Day examples. So let's scroll down, and you can see we have a whole different set of Valentine's Day examples uh, for hang tag. I'm gonna come back first of all to my library, and we'll just select another image here. Let's choose this donut here. I'm gonna hold down Control and tap D, um, and then just type in 10 period and that will increase the duration of my donut here to 10 seconds. And basically again I'm going to increase the scale of this so that it fills that whole window. So for this particular uh, donut I am going to um, just desaturate it a little bit. So we'll just come up to our color board here, go to saturation, I'm just going to drop the saturation down a little bit and also I'm going to just brighten this up a little bit 
just so that when we drop that graphic over the top it actually really pops out. So we'll come to our generators now and this time we're gonna build on the hang tag kind of spelling out some a word here. So basically we're gonna use the L-O-V-E that you can see here and we'll have a look at these as we kind of drop these on but basically each of these will drop onto screen and we're gonna modify this so that we actually get it kind of up at the top here. So we'll grab our title on the timeline, come up to the type inspector, and in here we've got kind of some options for the overall position. So we can modify that. So I'm just hovering and dragging over the number here. I can lift it up or down, um, and I can also kind of drop the scale down as well. So we'll do this. So here I can modify my type color as well. I have to come into my type options here and I can scroll down to the face, show that. And then in here I can modify the color here so I can get a bit more intensity. Uh, we'll kind of go for this stronger magenta bright pink so it kind of stands out a bit from the background. And I'm gonna save that here so that I can use it for my other letters as well. So basically we can drag this box across here and that means that when we spell out our other letters we can modify that too. So I'm gonna come back to the type options here and drop the overall scale down. We wanna spell love across here. And so we'll just pull this across to the left and we will drag on the heart here, which is our O. And basically we're gonna position this as well. So I will scale this down and position it across a little bit to the right. And there we go. So we can keep going with the V. And again, we can scale this down, modify the position a bit, come into our type options and change the color. So we've saved that pink that we had before so we can keep some nice consistency there. And then we'll grab the E. And if we hover over the middle here, you can see we can again scale this down, pull it across to the left and come into our type character face options and we can change this to our new color. So basically now we have this animation. So super cool. So basically um, in here uh, we have some other options for our type as well. So if we take the V for instance, if we wanted to hang the V from the other side um, here, we can actually offset um, that type as well. So basically my text A position can be moved. So I can actually change the position so it's hanging off that right hand part of the V. Okay. So now when this animates on, you can see instead of hanging off the top left of the V, we're hanging off the top right of the V. So it works really nicely there to kind of modify that. And obviously we'd want to come on and just kind of modify the overall position. But you can see we can quickly kind of change where these letters are centered in the, the animation uh, that we're making. So we've got a real nice detailed level of control over how these piece of text are dropping down to the screen which is very very cool um, and in all of Brett FX's plugins you will notice this kind of detailed level of control that you get over the different animations so I'm going to hold down shift and tap Z just so I can see my whole timeline I'm going to come to the end here and I'm just going to use alt and the right hand square bracket just to trim all these down and so now basically we've got a couple of different Valentine specials that we can export out now. We can upload them to Instagram, we can upload them to Facebook. Um, they'll be great for kind of grabbing people's attention. And then in the description, obviously you can include more details and links and that kind of thing to the product that you're, you're trying to advertise. So let's have a look at one other hang tag here. So I'm just gonna hold down the option key and duplicate my donut. And then we'll use Valentine's Day 7. And in here you can see we can modify uh, the type that we have. So basically I can, modify this uh, in two places. So I can modify the type in my text animation A here, but I can also come in to my type tools and if I select the type, I can modify it as I would normal type. So if I type in Valentine's Day Special, obviously I'm gonna need to highlight that and then drop down the type size so that we kind of fit that into our type box here and into the design we have. So if we take day for instance, we'll have Valentine's week special. And again, you know, we can modify the size of the type, we can make it smaller um, and 
kind of modify the design as we want it to within that already existing animation. So the animation here will basically pop on still, works beautifully, and will hang there nicely, grab people's attention, and hopefully get them to make that click to the page that you're directing people towards. So those are a few different examples of hang tag. Um, as you can see, we've got kind of ton of different uh, levels of control here. We can modify things like the background. Um, we have texture on our background. We can add, have a drop zone for our background so we can add in our own graphics. Um, we have an object that we can pop in the background as well um, and some other very cool kind of different options that we have for modifying the overall design um, of what we're doing. So. Again, if we scroll down, you can see again different kind of levels of control that we've got over different aspects of, of what we're creating here. So for instance, the dots along the middle are part of this uh, design here. So we can change the color uh, of those dots, modify them, change them to something else uh, to kind of change the look and feel of things or to match the colors that we want to use in our design. So let's just uh, do Shift and Z and we'll have a quick playback of what we have here. So we have our first very simple kind of Valentine's Day specials um, and then we have our animated type um, where we're kind of moving things and timing things to, to come on um, in sequence here by using the different layers. And then we have the hang tag that we've gone in and modified. And again, these are great for grabbing people's attention for social media videos that you want to create and for kind of getting people to, to click that extra click uh, to get them to your products. So hopefully that's a useful overview of how to make this square style video. And um, when we go to export this, um, oftentimes I will just export this as the master file. That's my normal kind of export settings. Um, and if you're exporting out as video and audio, that will often upload to Facebook and Instagram. Um, if you are having any troubles uploading to Instagram, in the past I've had it, I will go to computer so I can change this from a QuickTime movie to an MPEG-4 file. Some platforms do want you to upload as an MPEG-4 and you just want to be mindful that it does drop the resolution um, here when you actually go to export things out here. But these types of files will be super easy to share on Instagram, on Facebook. And as you can see, the hang tag plugin to use is really super simple. Um, it's going to bring some nice animation, some nice color, and all this editability um, to your social media videos that you're uploading to kind of grab your client's attention. So I hope that's been useful um, overview of how we can implement this kind of plugin in Final Cut Pro 10. So all the links are below for BrettFX's hang tag plugin. Um, definitely do go and check it out. And I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.